So today I'm going to show you how to install Ghidra. As many of you who have watched my videos in the past know, I use a program uh, called IDAPRO to do disassembly of binaries, that is turn binary code into assembly code. Now IDAPRO is a, a great program but it costs like two thousand dollars and then like a you know four hundred dollars every year to renew it. Recently the National Security Agency of the United States um, open sourced a tool called Ghidra which is does the same thing IDA does, it's a disassembler and not only does it disassemble but it is also a decompiler that means it can try to turn a binary code into C or C++ representation. Now this is amazing because this really really makes it easier to reverse engineer things and IDA does that too but you have to pay on top of the two thousand dollars you have to pay four thousand dollars for every architecture that you want to decompile so if you wanted to do Intel 32 and 64 but that's actually two architectures uh, according to IDA so it, that would be an extra eight thousand dollars on top of the two thousand dollars you already paid for IDA uh, Pro the, just the disassembler so Ghidra is a really amazing tool and it's also completely free so previously again in my videos I like to show reverse engineering and things like that but it's it's hard for anyone to really do anything with what I show you because for the hobbyist you just you, most people can't have no access to IDA Pro so it's um, basically out of out of the hands or out of the range of the the, the average hobbyist to um, mess with IDA so with Ghidra now you can download it for free and use it for free so I'm gonna start doing videos using Ghidra in this video it's just gonna be a very short video just shows you how to install Ghidra on Windows 10 so pull up a web browser you go to www.ghidra-sre.org click on download Ghidra and put it in whatever directory you want to install it in in my case, I'm going to put in the I drive in the directory users Brian B. It'll take a few minutes to download. When it does, click on Show on Folder and go ahead and extract it. Now, when you extract it, remove the end file name there and just put it directly in that directory that you want to install it in. Again, in my case, users Brian B. And that will create the folder, Ghidra underscore, and then the version number. You can delete the downloaded file that you unextracted. Now what we want to do is add um, an environmental variable called the path. To do that, you'll need to open the control panel, then go to the system uh, object, and click on advanced system settings. Now click on environmental variables and choose the path and click edit and just add that path that we installed Ghidra into. In my case is going to be I users Brian B and then Ghidra underscore 9.0.2. Now your version will probably be a different number. So for whatever version, whatever the actual name of the directory is. And then you can close your tabs, go to your um, command prompt, and just type Ghidra run, where the R is capital. And that should bring up Ghidra. So join us in the next episode where we I'll show you how to load a binary in Ghidra and start analyzing it.